I just want you to know that there's not bird shit on my shirt. <laughs> That's, That's all. fine. Do you, do We've you all seen Home Alone 2. It's okay. So what were we supposed to think it is? <laughs> or Mary Poppins? Um, I don't know. I just didn't want you to think it was like bird crap or pigeon <laughs> bird crap. I don't know I what you wanted us to think. Wow. Pigeons don't, don't even qualify as birds? No. I'm not kidding. Damn. I was Dang. a lot. I was around a lot of birds this weekend and very, very hyper aware of bird <laughs> So, Oh my God. The birds and animals in general in Morro Bay are brazen oh man <laughs> they're yeah, brazen. marvin marvin pet a squirrel yeah squirrels just oh, yeah, come straight up to you and they just go hey uh you got some peanuts you got we'd some, never learn fries, to be a f- so. to be afeard of humanity <laughs> <laughs> it's funny if you lock eyes with them that's when they start approaching you if you ignore them they leave oh, interesting. but if, if you look straight at their faces they go oh 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 beach squirrels yeah, I'm they sure all they the have beach, enough yeah. of a. They've also been taught by tourists to be like, "Hey, you know, <laughs> you'll get some food if you engage." Yeah, right next to signs it says, "Please do not feed me; I'll die." <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't matter. <laughs> Never yep. did. Yeah. <laughs> They're chunky these are, too. Th- these are the chunkiest squirrels I've ever seen. Oh man. They're yeah, super see? chunk. <laughs> Telling you. Just what oh, happens. Oh, my goodness. Gosh. That's just what happened. Uh, what happened? What happened? Uh, what happened? There it is. <laughs> Even flow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that Creed still? <laughs> uh, no, that's uh, the Sons of Anarchy. Nope. Um <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the, what are these guys called? Uh, it's fucking Hellboy. It's uh, <laughs> G- Gene Jammers. Pearl Jam. All of these are oh, Pearl Jam. 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 Dude, Ron Pearl Jam. I, I want to see something right away, dude. <laughs> this episode was again one of the best episodes and one of the worst episodes. Oh, interesting. It's the best of, best of both worlds. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it was an interesting episode. I the do best I of d- both worlds, you say. <laughs> <laughs> best, best of both worlds. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those where they're like, let's just do something fun for once. And they just <laughs> You know what just- it felt like to me? <laughs> it felt like that episode of Eva where the day Tokyo three stood still. Oh, What's Eva? I see. Eva? Where, where power's out and they all What's have Eva? to like make it into nerve on their own. Like when the pilots stuff. of the giant robots, <laughs> like they are, they are trapped outside of their top secret headquarter facility and they have to climb down into it because all the power's out. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. It's a, it's Eva? anime. It's the old so, anime because people yeah. don't like how I say anime. Uh, well, it's kind of oh, like oh, when that oh, lady oh, says people, spaghetti. What people? Oh, People who it. don't matter, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like You're when that right. lady says the, the, the spaghetti thing on Food Network. People spaghetti? Like, spaghetti. Yeah. spaghetti. She just says that, but then speaks normally the whole time. Like, Oh, you mean Giada De Laurentiis? Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. she does. yeah she'd yes, be like, I'm, she go- does that. I'm going to make me some spruzzetta as I go yeah, head and on then, over. Yeah, and you're just yeah. like, what? Where did that come from? Italy. Fromage. <laughs> <laughs> came from Italy, man. I don't know. It's like either you stay with the Italian accent the whole time or you just <laughs> ditch it, you know? Oh, we you all know. know you mean spaghetti. <laughs> ditch it. Is it no, like you when have- you go to a Mexican restaurant and you're like, I'll have a burrito, you know? Yeah. Like- <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. If you really want to be proper, you say, I'll have a little donkey, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or doesn't your dad go say like, oh, hola, you know? Oh, man. Gracias. When my dad goes to restaurants, he always tries to <laughs> speak to so them much. in the language. <laughs> it's so annoying. He, he go Mexican restaurant. He go be like, "Hola, I'd like a burrito." And then, or you go to a Chinese restaurant. He goes, "Che che." And I'm like, "Oh no, my god, Dad, stop, stop, stop!" stop. <laughs> I hate that. That's so weird. I mean, depending on the culture you're attempting to immerse yourself in, some of them actually appreciate the effort. Others may you not. Really? So. We're in America. You know what, when, when, <laughs> when, when when I was a kid, because my you know my dad was an immigrant. And he spent a lot of time hanging out with like different cultures. Mm-hmm. And whenever, so like he used to, you know, he, depending on what part of town he was working at or where he was living, he learned different languages. So like, I remember as a kid, we'd go eat 
like at this Korean restaurant and he would speak uh-huh. to them in Korean. Like, oh, yeah. like conversational, like, like not like, oh, just hello and hi. No, like, like he was talking to them and like they were answering and I was like, I don't know what the fuck these people are fucking <laughs> saying, dude. <laughs> and then I think we would go. More uh, valid and more. then we yeah. would go to, yeah. to, to get burgers at this place that was owned by Greeks and he would be mm-hmm. talking to them in Greek. And I was like, God wow. damn. Wow. The fuck's happening here? How do you learn languages so well? That's crazy. Just by working around town. Wow. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. I mean, I think that's. I wonder how many. Yeah. I wonder how many secret polyglots there are in that, like, (laughs) that emerge from that sort of life, you know? Mm. I feel like pretty much every, like, Mexican guy who works in the restaurant business is a polyglot because you learn English, they know Spanish already. They probably, depending on the restaurant, they learn French or Italian and they just learn all these languages. They're in LA Korean. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's or just Armenian, like, depending. Yeah, on. exactly. And they'll learn Korean whether it's a Japanese or Korean restaurant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the secret behind most sushi places in in LA. Everyone, they're they're all <laughs> yeah. actually Korean. <laughs> <laughs> if you see bulgogi on the menu or some sort really? of ribs on the menu, that's actually a, a restaurant that's secretly owned by Korean people who Don't, they were stop like pronouncing <laughs> bulgogi with that with a big old accent, Marvin. Yeah, <laughs> I know exactly. You're doing exactly. If you see what if you see said. fire beef on the menu, that's <laughs> if you see yeah. bulgogi, bulgog, bulgogi on the menu. <laughs> That's exactly. a that's a yeah, Korean don't, guy. Chador, Chador, <laughs> it's Chador. Say it right. <laughs> that's for nobody, Dan. <laughs> it's for the Korean American Simpsons Ameri- uh, Simpsons aficionado. Someone out there gets it. I swear God to damn God. It. God damn it. We this is a disaster. This send podcast. an email right now. Stop the podcast if you understand anything about what just happened and send me an email. Not not the podcast. Send it to me. <laughs> Address it, Dan. I understand you. Yes. Uh, and then forget we'll what it was about. <laughs> This episode's a disaster. Uh, uh, this was a disaster. Uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah. This episode uh, was a shit show. To say yeah, it's funny. It's like just a random thing just fucking rocks the Enterprise and they're just fucked. <laughs> Completely. And it's funny because they call it a filament and it sounds like it shouldn't be that big a deal because it's a I know. filament. I know. <laughs> like, is that like a light bulb thing? You know, like the filaments. I think it's their equivalent of hitting a, an iceberg because they weren't paying attention. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. know. Or are they trying to Icebergs like. Icebergs you can a- see though. And this, this thing's invisible, right? The filament. Right. And they, they did say it was tried hard to, to explain yeah, why yeah. it was hard to detect. But I'm wondering Diet. if like by calling it a filament, they meant to evoke like a light bulb where it's like, hey, if you touch a white hot light bulb filament. You're probably mm-hmm. going to get fucked up somehow. I don't know. I think that's why they were like, oh, trying to evoke that they're having electrical issues everywhere. So that's that's mm. probably why. But Maybe, maybe. And he did describe it as, t- let's, it's like if you touched a live wire. And then oh, that's true. Yeah. Like putting too much air in a balloon. Um, <laughs> yeah. You were talking about anime. Anime. <laughs> 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 See, it sounds great. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone uh, should say it like that. <laughs> speaking of animated, th- animated things, um, animated did you guys things. see who's replacing um, Justin Roiland in uh, Solar no. Opposites? No, it's no, Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens. Why is that? Yeah. Fami- well, who is that? From the I, guest I, in Downton Abbey. Oh, oh. I don't know dude. enough about Dan Stevens to understand how I should feel. Okay, uh, it's just it's just a weird choice, like just a a nod choice. I guess why um, not? Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's probably like a couple thousand people who can mimic Justin Roiland. Oh, the dude who played Beast in Roiland. Beauty and the Beast. Okay, yeah, the, the yeah. remake. Okay, the one that was across Emma Watson, and then they had to yeah. CG oh. his, his horns on. Okay, yeah, that's oh. the guy. Okay, okay. Oh, he's, 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 yeah, the Downton Abbey. I don't think I've seen him do a lot of comedy. And oh, I mean, I, I it's fine. It's Downton fine. Abbey's British. funny. Maybe he wants to. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Uptown Funk. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uptown Funk, Downton Abbey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's trying to do like the John Hamm thing where he's like, you know what? I want to go straight into yeah. comedy. I just want to do comedy. Yeah, maybe. Please. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, pretty funny. I feel like well, every decade really you, you get one or two like celebrities who manage to make that work. He's got the the big D, uh, uh, John. Oh Hamm. my god! 
Oh, everyone. We've talked yeah. about this before. Where that five, yeah. go, go five minutes without talking about the G, dude. <laughs> You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The yes, picture yes, that leaked. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, okay. So I'm not. Alone. We've all, we've all okay. seen John Ham's D. You don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to make it. Well, was it John Ham or some other celebrity with an allegedly lots, large D? Lots of celebrities, yeah, big well, D's. A lot of them, yeah. but it's John Ham that had the the famous outline. I guess you could say well, his, his name is John Ham. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't think. I, I feel like there are several famous outlines that made headlines. Be like, hey, check it out. This guy has a big old dick. That's it. Yeah. I wonder if it's <laughs> like they too. set it big up outline as is very iconic. <laughs> if they set it up as like a uh, as like a stunt, like, oh, okay, I know I'm going to be photographed. Let me just put this, you know, roll of salami in my pants or something. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's called a roll of salami. I think it's. <laughs> what is it called I then? I don't oh, know. A stick of salami. A stick. <laughs> A stick. <laughs> okay, An entire penis sense. of salami. <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, a penis of salami. The actually? Italian term is donga salami. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it with an Italian accent. Right? Yeah, donga salami. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I just looked up John Ham Big, and that just yielded that yielded all the results I needed. There's a lot of photos. Wow, it's not just yeah. one. Yeah, type in, type in type in John Ham eating bacon. See what comes up. John is that a thing? Hold on. Or type in John Ham eating ham. Oh, Wait, hold are on. we searching for images or just generating them on AI now? <laughs> you know, you know what? You know what? Uh, okay, John Ham. John Ham would make a good captain. In, in Star Trek. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my yeah. god. He, he would be a good he would be a good Picard. I vote John Hamm. I think, I think he's played like clueless enough times that I think of that mode before I think of like oh, I see. Yeah. commanding um, John Hamm. Because I've seen him good, in more comedy crap than I've seen him in serious stuff at this point. Seriously? You, Are you? Yeah, because like, I didn't watch Mad Men. Mad Men? Okay, I did not I was watch like, Mad Men. What? I haven't, I haven't seen Mad Men Oh Mad Men's great. If you want to watch a good like John Ham comedy. Watch Fletch. It's really good. Fletch. It's called Fletch. Conf- oh, yeah. Confess. Fletch. Fletch. Con- Fletch. Confess. Fletch. Well, uh, wasn't that it, like a, a recent to attempt to redo an old comedy? Uh, it wasn't an attempt. It was successful. I think he was great in it. Attempts can be successful and still be attempts. I guess. Confess. I guess you're Fletch. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know if they're going to do more, but I, it, it did well enough that it they put it on Blu-ray. Because okay. it was a streaming, it was a streaming um, drop. Oh, nice! During the pandemic, I think. Yeah, that's rare now. <laughs> well, yeah, like it's an yeah. accomplishment to get a physical release of anything yeah, now. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think it did it well enough that they could do another one. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, they have they announced that crazy ass Picard Legacy set that's like fifty four discs big. Oh yeah. What is that? Can't, can't I don't know. That. It's, it's all of the next generation. It's every next generation related movie. It's the entire three season run of the Picard show that, you know, was on streaming. Oh. As well as like a book that's about like that's a bunch uh full of Picard quotes and sayings, I guess. Yeah, it's like a it's like a kayfabe Picard journal or something, allegedly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, it's like, you know what they should do? They should do a Star Trek telltale game. That would actually be kind of sick. Actually, like maybe this, if you the, look into the, enough Star Trek video games, there might be one that gets a little close to like choosing responses to stuff, but definitely not the exact same thing that Ricardo's cause, talking about. Yeah, because the pacing of Star Trek would work really well for an adventure game. Actually, yeah, you could turn any number of moral quandaries that we've seen into decisions. Oh, um, I like that actually. But you know what? You get, dead. <laughs> you know what you get though if you do that. Uh, they're still releasing Mass games, Effect. They bought, they got bought out by somebody else. It, but the, but isn't it the company just dead though? Like, I mean, like people, people could come back from the dead, dude. I thought they were like blown well, out, tell, and then they're like trying tell to. Have you not new... seen? Have you not seen Fast X, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Gal Gadot's alive. <laughs> um, Spoiler alert, dude. Somehow Gal Gadot came back. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, just like it, Palpatine. It, in reference to Mass Effect. I would say the problem with Mass Effect is that all the shooting and gameplay gets in the way of the storytelling and the characters. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I, that's and they the only focused more part. on it as time went on, didn't they? I like know. That's that's why I don't like I, – this is an unpopular opinion. I like Mass Effect 1 far more than Mass Effect 2. I actually can't kind of stand Mass Effect 2 because it turned it into just a dumb shooting game. 
I was like, I like being a psychic man that doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> well, granted, like, you also never finished Mass Effect 2, right? Yeah, but because I didn't like it. Because I was just like, it's, I just all have right, a right. big gun and I throw grenades and this is not as interesting to me. But anyway, where we watched Disaster and that mm-hmm. was aired on October 21st of 1991. Dan. What happened around then as we go around the sun? Well, it's only been a week since the last air date we passed, so not a whole lot happened. Uh, because movies have continued to be pretty dry, the most notable movie released around that time was a little title that I only vaguely remember hearing. It was called Other People's Money, starring Danny DeVito and Gregory Peck in his final major film appearance. Oh. Mm. And in it, DeVito played a corporate raider type who liquidates companies, only that he falls in love with the president's daughter at his latest target. Who wins? Love or money? I didn't read the full synopsis, so probably money. (laughs) Um, At the end day, DeVito was just like, I'll have all the money instead. (laughs) He deserves it. Then he goes. Next to, up, he moves to Philadelphia, and he loses all the he's money. All, he's all banging whores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. The origins of Trash Man, and the other, the second thing, and the final thing. Uh, on the 17th of October, we saw the release of a Genesis title called Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin. And I only oh. bring that up because I saw the second Spider-Verse movie over since our last recording. And boy, how it is a good movie. Everyone should go watch it. But oh, see okay. the first Spider-Verse movie first. And we have to play oh, Spider-Man okay. vs. the Kingpin first, too. Yes. Yeah. Watch, yeah. watch and play that. Very important to the canon We're of We're not going to understand a lot of what's going on unless we play hey, Spider-Man. Hey, man, for all you know... Things from that game are in that movie, and I wouldn't even be able to tell you. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be able to tell yeah, you. There might yeah, be something. They, yeah. It, this is like the current trend of movies now, because The Flash is now also including, like, here's every Superman, Supergirl, Batman you can think okay, of. But here, here's the thing, thing, though. Here, Here's the thing that makes it all work better for me, I think. Mm-hmm. In Spider-Verse's case, the core of the story is invented and original. The multiversal right. like like core of the story, it, like it's all centered around Miles and what he does with the characters that they like brought out of the ether to make into their story there. They didn't right. just cobble together the parts that already existed. Right. And they kind of like interact and then they yeah, actually yeah, yeah. like <laughs> like versus the cameos like, hey, and look, stuff that's a different are Batman. peripheral. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like it, the cameos and stuff are peripheral. Like they're Easter eggs and they remain so. It doesn't feel like fully blatant, like gross fan service. Okay. okay. To me, All it doesn't right. feel like watching Batman in Batman costumes say, you want to get nuts, let's get nuts. Completely what? missing <laughs> the entire context of its original line. Wait, what? I didn't know that happens. Oh, oh you didn't see a trailer? <laughs> That's in the trailer. No, I've been. It's in, it's in all the trailers. I, I don't care about. The Flash movie at all? <laughs> how do you how do you not see a, a YouTube ad without that goddamn commercial? Because I have YouTube Premium, so I don't have to see any of these fucking ads. <laughs> God damn it, dude! <laughs> anyway, that was a trip around the sun. Oh my gosh! Well, wow. in that case, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love it when I get that to happen. <laughs> Honestly, well, I really <laughs> love it when that happens. <laughs> well, we have. One of our new sponsors coming back this week. It's Liquid IV coming back. Yo. Yeah. Sarah, do you want us to walk us through Liquid IV again? I do. But first, I want to tell you about how dry I've been feeling. (laughs) It's a problem. And we got to start at the beginning. We got to start with the problem, which is me feeling really dry. And then (laughs) we got to figure out a solution, which was Liquid (laughs) IV. Oh, no. And so... I found Liquid IV a long time ago through my sister, and she recommended it to me. And she's like, you know what? I heard you've been feeling dry. You've been feeling dehydrated. You've been feeling very (laughs) raisin-like. And I think you should try this. And I was like, okay, cool. And so it comes in a little packet of powder, Mm -hmm. and you open it up, and you put it into about 16 ounces of water, and you shake it up. And it's cool because the packaging allows you to be discreet and take it to festivals and out and about on a hike or something like that. And yeah, you just put it in your water, shake it up, and you drink it. And it hydrates two times faster than water. So that's the main benefit is that it's better for hydration than just water on its own. Yes. You can use it before a workout if you feel 
super dehydrated after a flight because when you go on planes, I feel like extra raisiny after a plane. <laughs> it's also getting really hot now. It's apparently oh, going to be one Christ. of the. I know. So apparently, yeah, I was just reading the news that like we're getting prepared for a super hot summer in LA. One of the hottest America. summers we'll ever have. I'm really uh, scared, so far, to be so. honest. I'm really scared, but I feel prepared <laughs> because I have liquid IV and I have the, my favorite flavors. I have the tangerine one, which I really like. The mm. lemon lime one is really good. Mm. And so I have them by my side to get through this crazy fucking hot ass LA summer. <laughs> so if you want to stay hydrated this summer and beat the heat, Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code NEWBIE at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code NEWBIE at liquidiv.com. Yeah. And just for anyone who's confused, NEWBIE is spelled N-E-W-B-I-E because I know there's technically a few ways you can yeah. spell that. Use our but. code NEWBIE and you get 20% off. Yeah. And you stay hydrated and healthy and you won't pass out. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for letting us know. No problem. Damn it. I was right about to launch into something. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped it right on time. See, that's dude. why. That's why. That's why. That's why. I had three jokes fucking like already okay. like chambered, dude. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we can also go back to our old mainstay Express VPN. Here's the thing. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know ExpressVPN is pretty great. And you know why it's great? You know that's super fast. You know that's super secure. You know that's very convenient because you can find it on every device you can think of. It works pretty much everywhere, every service you can think of. And you already know that if you go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek, and if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free for a total savings of 49% off. But for did free? You know? Yeah. It's crazy. But wow. did you know? Well, 49% of it is free. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> three of the months are free. Three of oh, these months got it. are free. But there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can kind of just use it for 30 days. And mm -hmm. be you know like, yeah, and then it would be uh, free. And I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that anymore. I, maybe I want my internet dangerous and covered in disease. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> And then you can just say, I want my money back. And 30-day money-back guarantee. But hey. Try it out for yourself. Head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. Look at all the things that they have to offer. But if you sign up for 12 months, they're going to give you an extra three months for free. That's a pretty good deal. That's $6.67 a month. That's actually pretty cheap for VPN of that quality. So that's you know, all we don't We don't say this enough, but I think do your parents a favor and get them a VPN. I think it's... Yeah. They yeah. look up weird stuff and... <laughs> They, they get all to do. weird Wait, wait, what, what are your parents looking up, Sarah? Um, I don't know, but I feel like, I feel like. Look, people are weird, okay? They're, they're just going like to look up weird shit sometimes. go down sometimes. weird stuff and they end up in weird places in the internet. <laughs> I mean, and, like my dad, you know, he likes to spend a lot of time on YouTube, on the Korean side of YouTube. Yeah, you can and get wow. lost really quickly. It's it is a, what, a minefield. What side? North Korea or South Korea? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's hard to get to the north side of YouTube, Korea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe yeah. I know Father's Day passed, but maybe a belated gift and be like, you know, Dad, I want to protect you. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. Also, not to be ageist, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe your daughter also needs ExpressVPN because <laughs> maybe. She gave somebody her social security number, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hey, um, you know what? Like, there's just no because age limit on 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 being um, yep uh, taken advantage of. So oh, yeah, let's also, there is no age no, limit on that. Yeah, and yeah. you can also be young and not tech savvy. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. Let, let, let's let's not this pretend look, like all young people know how to yeah. use all computers. They don't. Yeah. I actually find that fascinating true. with the Zoomer generation. It's like there's large portions. Because I, I work with some Zoomers at work, and there's large portions of- What the fuck are Zoomers, dude? <laughs> Zoomers. They're Seriously. like- they're, they're, they're just really young. Gen they're just Z. too young. And they've, they've grown up on apps, like on their mm -hmm. phones, but not right. computers. Yeah. So they like don't know how to do things. Like I have to teach people like Command V, but they're like 22 years old. 
Well, did you also like, know that they're going <laughs> they're going back to like Walkmans and like CD players and stuff? Well, th- that's and, like, just like the thirty year cycle of nostalgia. I, I think I think that happens yeah. with every generation. Like physical, um, but I know, but that's causing a lack of you know going back to using physical media and not being online as much. And yeah, I mean, not I, I know it's just fascinating how. I think the generate. I mean, not to sound like we're. I think millennials are the best. Amazing or anything. Uh, I, no, I mean, we're not. I mean, <laughs> yes, we we're no millennials had to grow up fast, learn how to do shit, but also remember. We were going to say the internet. But I was going to say, <laughs> but I was going to say that like I think we do have perhaps a general higher base level of tech competency because if you didn't have that tech competency, you couldn't interact with everything that was cool when we grew up. Yeah. Right. Like you kind of needed to learn. It. Yeah. Like and you, you had, had to, to know how to like we just it listened to a podcast exist. about this. Like yeah. you had to learn how to use Napster. You had to learn how to do file management. You had to learn how to like this is face well, it. People were writing and shit. Like, people were writing code like on Like if you wanted to stuff, be a right? savvy social media user of of old, you had to learn HTML and CSS. Yeah. Yep. You wanted to make okay. a GeoCities page, you had to know some HTML to make it look You a want your snazzy. MySpace to play your music whenever people load up your page and shit and have some little sparklies on it. You needed that code. You needed that script. Yeah. I mm-hmm. will settle this argument. Every generation is a shitty generation <laughs> because they are human. And the human the human race is an infectious disease that needs to go away. Um, there. But we're the uh, but infection that's Is no, there seriously. anyone less, less <laughs> shitty? Is there a rank of shittiness? Uh, of shittiness? Like from diarrhea to, you know, I don't know what's ideal. No, but. all humans are shitty. <laughs> um, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> this is how I put it. Anytime you ever think, every time you ever try to defend humanity, it's hashtag not all humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's here's it. the thing. Here's the thing. There's a speech that Ed Harris gives in Westworld that perfectly describes my feelings towards humanity. Uh, okay. I, I won't. I won't repeat it here. Uh, it's, oh, I it's thought. Far too I thought. Aggressive. I thought you were talking, or I thought you would have been saying that about Mr. Yeah, Smith. Yeah, why, why don't you have it in your pocket to tell us? Come on, you we're must not link Mr. it Smith. later. Agent. I'll link it to you guys. I'll link it to you guys. <laughs> But um, I'm very curious now. I'll send it to you privately. It's too bad. West on our chat. Blows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I would actually respect <laughs> the more if you said <laughs> like Hugo Weaving once said <laughs> in the um, voice of Carl Sagan that that, that um we're a if, virus. If if uh, if that show was good for I anything, never connected it was for that, that speech. That sounds like mm. Carl Sagan. Hugo Weaving. Oh, like um, he's gone on record saying that was in his inspiration for like really. His, his, his mean, oh my god. I'm a sense. huge Matrix fan, and I've never How heard that before. That? Oh my god, <laughs> that's amazing! Oh, that's so cool. I hope actually. I didn't invent that fact. I hope someone can. Back <laughs> I up hope on it's that, invented now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out it- eventually. <laughs> someone in the comments will say, "Oh, we actually have um, comments now." <laughs> I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> I used to say um, that jokingly, knowing know. no one will ever say anything. <laughs> and nowadays, someone might actually respond. That's cool. <laughs> I will say this about ExpressVPN. Look, you don't want to bear back the internet, dude. Yeah. Like, get get no. ExpressVPN. It's going to help you out. It will keep your internet service provider from knowing where you are. Here's the thing is, in, we laugh about it now and we joke around, but like in less than five, 10 years, all that stuff will be uh, 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 something like literally a commodity that you'll you were you'll you'll say like God, I remember when we were just barebacking the internet and everyone was knowing where we were. Like that stuff is is your stuff to sell, not <laughs> not your ISPs uh, to sell. So please use use an ExpressVPN. Don't give them extra fucking money. Don't give the fucking Murdochs mm-hmm. extra money. Those bitches fucking have all the money <laughs> they need. And also, like it helps you out if you want to look. The days of, of password sharing might be close to an end, but there's <laughs> there's other venues to to get your 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 pennies worth. So yep. if you have say you only have enough money to buy uh Hulu, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And well, if you have or okay, let's do this. Say you wanna you only have you you have the, the choice between Hulu, uh Disney Plus and you know uh Fox uh streaming service uh-huh. uh 20th century fox you can you can eliminate two of those by just getting disney plus and putting a vpn on it and saying you're allegedly this is allegedly by the way so okay. i heard it by, from a guy yeah, some guy uh, yeah some guy 
if you put a VPN and say you're in London and launch your Disney Plus, you will get all the Hulu shows and all the 20th Century Fox, even the Rated R movies, on your Disney Plus little little uh, interface. Everything will pop up. Mm-hmm. And, and this is all just hypothetical. Like yeah, if hypothetical. This were, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is all a hearsay to whom it may concern. Mm-hmm. I.e. Esquire. No um, one is saying this. No one has ever no said this. No one's saying this. No one's ever said this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's something interesting. And uh, I think. But if someone did say this. Yeah. <laughs> if someone said this for real and they tried it, someone on the show tried it and it worked, <laughs> then, you know, there's that. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, seriously, get it. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the <laughs> uh, whatever worth amount it. of money it is per month. Well. You know what Denise Crosby is going to say. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? If Denise Crosby used ExpressVPN, she'd still be alive. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Denise uh, Crosby? <laughs> yeah. She not not Tasha Yar, not Tasha but Yar. Denise yeah. Crosby. <laughs> yeah. She, she was dead now. She's Rip dead now. Peace, oh, no. She got eaten by wood. Tom Hardy in the Venom <laughs> costume. Um, anyway, so this week's episode is very interesting. I really like it, and then I really hate it at the end. Here's the Uh, thing that was happening from the beginning, the start of the show. This this the MacGuffin happens, right? The 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 uh thing that drives the 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 goddamn show happens, Uh and I'm like, okay, this could be a really cool show if they say what really hit them. They explain kind of what hit them, but like, dude, if this is happening just randomly all around the goddamn fucking the universe how many yeah. ships are going down yeah like like devastatingly down like this isn't yeah, just like this, oh we got hit a little bit we should fix up it's like that's oh we problem, barely dude. survived we almost yeah. exploded <laughs> they, they, they never gave a count of actual casualties on the ship no. but they seem to like very easily believe that they had a ton yes yeah, yeah. so much so that they were like the people on the bridge are the only survivors like the fuck out of here dude <laughs> But then <laughs> like, they kind of resume normal life, which yeah. is like weird. They're like, oh, well, you know, we cleaned like up the a little only bit. Some things death fell off was the, the shelf. Was at the console. You know? Yeah. 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 Well, also, if the shields, that's my other complaint, dude. If you're in the console right there, right in the front, mm-hmm. and something fucking palpatines you out of the, your fucking seat, dude, some fucking <laughs> laser, dude, uh, there's something wrong with the fucking shielding of the fucking ship, dude. <laughs> there's something wrong. Well, more like there's probably something wrong with the system panels. Why do they always explode is, into yeah. into I wonder murdering how people? How many how many people grew up with the phobia <laughs> of computer monitors? Yeah, maybe that's huh? fucking that, show. You know what? That's <laughs> why if that's I had why grown up watching maybe, this. I might have, dude. Maybe is this that's where, why boomers. That's why boomers are so scared of computers. They're no. like, it's gonna explode and kill me. Is this where that? <laughs> this okay. There's one particular setup in a, in a Final Destination movie where someone places a coffee cup on top of their box monitor. You know, back in the day, monitors were boxy. Yeah, so like they placed just a CRT, coffee, you mean, right? Yeah, CRT monitor. So they placed their coffee mug on top. The mug had a micro crack. So liquid started pouring out of the mug oh. into the oh, CRT. No. And the CRT short-circuited, exploded, and threw a piece of glass into their throat. And I was like, oh my God, this is just like Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because so many people have said since watching watching that movie oh my god this is just like final destination (laughs) 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 i just feel like there's not if this is such a danger um that happens and it's unknown i just feel like the enterprise was very ill prepared there's no protocols at all there's no (laughs) protocol there's nothing is working there's no backups there's no plans even troy (laughs) will get into it troy is like who me i'm in charge (laughs) like if you look up the manual for like procedures in the event of a quantum filament nothing it's just a blank page here's the thing here's the thing here's a couple of complaints before this by the way this is a really fast show so it's good that we're just t- talking these complaints out loud because uh, <laughs> there's like four storylines and they're really fucking quick. All right. So here's here's my complaint. At any job, at any job, whether you're you, everybody's thought about this. Everybody's uh. thought about this. Like how many people have to die or leave or get fired before I st- I'm in charge of this department? <laughs> <laughs> everybody's done that. Everybody's yes. done that. How many people you know what? Like, literally, I'll be honest with you. I've never actually thought that at an actual job I worked. You know what they call Maybe that? you should think about it, Dan. You, you you've think been Troyed. You, you've been Troyed. <laughs> um, Clearly, been, Troy didn't think about it. 
yeah. at all. Yeah. But but everybody has. Marvin, please If I were put in this. charge, I would uh, act like Deanna. Well, to be honest, <laughs> that would be me. I've thought about it. I've yeah. thought about it for I've sure. i thought about it too. 100%. I'd be like, and then who would I fire below me? <laughs> Who's, who, who is the designated yeah, survivor if this yeah, room yeah. explodes? You know, yeah, yeah. 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 It's usually yeah. like the side character that was kind of unassuming, but yeah, you know, did like one or two good things. That that That's they you are. Did? Are you just yourself? <laughs> think about them who who really run a ranking. Is that system, how you perceive like me, a military Sarah? system? <laughs> <laughs> and they have to really kind of break that down. Like the side oh. character does one or two good things. <laughs> <laughs> I, who, I, I, you're telling me Deanna Troy never thought of that? Like, how many people have to die and then I'm in I charge? I think she oh legitimately God. didn't, no, doesn't even think it be about in a rank. Protocol? I mean, isn't in yeah. the military, it's well documented, you know, designated well, yeah. all the way down and Miles, to, Miles is the most professional out of all of them. So he's like, actually, Deanna's in charge. And he yeah. just waits. <laughs> yeah. And you turn into a sir automatically. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, they couldn't call her Madam President. She wasn't the president. <laughs> Madam President. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, Kamala. So, um, <laughs> so the uh, there's a couple things that are said. It's Marvel. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I wanted to do this thing, but I, it didn't work out on time. I wanted to auto tune. Um, <laughs> What's his face? <laughs> Jordy? It's doing his, his fucking singing. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. At yeah. first I thought and you were going to say you hated this episode because we didn't go back to Jordy singing. Well, <laughs> that too. Well, that's uh, true. It just comes out of nowhere that, that for some reason, Beverly wants Jordy to get involved in musical theater. And then <laughs> Wait, yeah. so is she like a theater producer now? Like wh why is I, she I like think, the main yeah. driving force behind I think this? She's the main pr pr uh, theater person on, on the enterprise. Remember like how she had Barkley doing like theater. And I think what's no. happening. She's the point, dancing doctor. Yeah, I like think what's happening point, is that huh. like uh, Gates McFadden has a background in theater, so maybe she's being like, "Can I like also be like the theater person on the Enterprise?" And I think that's what's going on. Uh, sure, I, I, I hate I hate the storyline with 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 Beverly and, and really. I want to be completely honest with you guys. I hate every start with Beverly right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't she, wait till you see this one episode later in this and I think it's sixth season. Oh man, there's a really great Beverly only episode that you Pulaski. You're gonna... Pulaski's my, my, my doctor, dude. <laughs> yeah, she never yeah, yeah. You just wait. Honestly, do. It, overall, I feel like the the fandom as I perceived it seemed to have a much harsher take on Pulaski than I know, than right? Really? I, we're the outliers, actually. We actually really like Pulaski. Really? And the I think Pulaski is great, don't. but yeah, uh, she, I was, she was before, logical. But, mm -hmm. She never killed yeah. anybody purposely. Did she never? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Beverly is a serial killer on board, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so. My uh, Jordy's playing his little fucking etch sketch and looking <laughs> at some like radioactive stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And Beverly's like, "You gotta, you gotta do the goddamn fucking musical." And he's like, "Look, I'm not a good singer." Ba -ba -da -ba 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 <laughs> and I wanted to auto tune him. <laughs> And and uh, I don't know what and, that was. <laughs> I don't know what it was either. And and uh, Picard, he's like, uh, he he's got to meet some kids from a fucking. Oh wait, we camp. skipped. We skipped over the pregnancy. We, we're not. I'm just going over every storyline, oh, and then okay, we're gonna we're, okay. we're gonna walk every storyline through. I'm just I'm just mentioning it. So you have Picard walking these these uh, giving Children. a tour. I don't know why Picard had to do it, but Picard doing one a tour. of them was a the pink ranger. Yeah, I know. The, they were, I had to look her up. I had to look her up and go, "Is that is that really her? Is it a kid?" Um, it kind of looked like her. <laughs> is that Amy Joe Johnson? Yeah, yeah. And, they're all and dressed so, kind of like Power Rangers in general. Picard's got to give these kids fucking. <laughs> the, a the boys needed a little more like primary color to them, but yeah, I, yeah. I believe it. And there's one more storyline that kind of splinters. The last storyline is Keiko, who's pregnant, and yes. Worf. And, and Riker and Data. And Riker and Data. But that splinters off into two two storylines. But um anyway, so let's start off with the with Picard. Right. And we'll just run it all the way through and then Which we'll just the most all simple the storyline yeah. out of all yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 So he get, he's gotta give the kid he's gotta give the kids fucking a tour of the of the of the throne room, whatever it's called. <laughs> what a lame yeah. ass prize. Yeah. 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 A tour of the ship you live in. Like you can't do they even live do in the a ship. Hop? I don't yeah, well, okay, maybe live, not. They do. They do live yeah, there. They do. That's they what do. I thought. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, so that just means, haven't it's seen the, it's bridge the captain and that they like have that. access to every day just well, showing like they them. Just they just said the access? school, right? They yeah. like I think yeah. they just said it was the school oh, science okay. fair. So my my I don't know. The what I thought of it in my brain was that hey, 
these kids from Earth maybe won no, a science it's fair. The school, and then, it's no, the school. Yeah. Where are they in space right now, Marvin? How did they know. get there? I don't know. Yeah. Did, also, also, here's my here's my complaint. What a what a coincidence that this happens while they're in between assignments and it's just their free time. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see this happen. Uh, when they're in the middle of like a fucking uh, one of those negotiations where somebody's gonna blow somebody up, <laughs> yeah, and they and like get like and then a quantum film yeah, that happens, yeah, <laughs> and, and, they, and they're like they're like oh, goddamn fucking goddamn enterprise, and then they just fucking blow them up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be amazing. We'll so, shoot our shot now while they're yeah, down. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the comms are down. Yeah. Um, and there's there's someone singing over the fucking radio. Um, <laughs> so they. So Picard is giving them a tour and they get stuck in the stupid fucking elevator and oh it, it like it, it drops and Picard breaks his ankle in, yeah. in a weird, but also like throughout the whole show, he's like out of breath. Even when he breaks his ankle, he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> and then like, well, you just yeah, broke your like- ankle, dude. Like. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be fine dude just breathe normally why, why like he wasn't yeah it Listen. feels like he wasn't given very specific direction on how injured he was <laughs> or what uh, he, like has to, break he, has to, he has to yeah. let the audience constantly know i am injured picard but how are injured. you supposed yeah. to climb up the thing if you break he did little ankle. hops he did little you hops. can you can if you yeah, pull yourself if he has the other leg one, like it can one, be done it's just hard oh yeah yeah it's not yeah. that hard because you use the the ladder to put you use your it's it could be done it could totally be done with one foot um at his age no he's great no he's so in shape <laughs> so and he's he's skinny as shit dude it's not a lot and of he also to yeah he also hates well he hates kids right he Do hates you know kids why for he a while specifically hates kids well because he killed, i don't know they established in the Rikers. episode one sorry yeah. he killed he killed uh uh beverly's husband and he, he can't admit that that fucking the what's his name stucci <laughs> Stanley, Stanley Tucci. What's his Stanley face? Tucci. God damn! What's the kid? The kid I hate. Wesley, right? Wesley. Wesley. I <laughs> Yo, do you hate Wesley, Stanley right? Tucci? <laughs> no, wow. no, I like him actually. Wow. He's great. Wow. He's a great actor. Um, Wesley. Is it Wesley Tucci? What's his last name? Crusher, Crusher, like his mom. Crusher, Crusher. yes. Sorry. Ah, God we. damn it, dude. I'm really losing it, guys. Um, we lost a minute to that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit, dude. Uh, Wesley Crusher, yeah. Um, uh, what was I going with Wesley Crusher? He's he's um, a war he, Why does why does Picard why does Picard <laughs> oh, hate yeah. kids? Because that's his kid, and he can't admit it, and so yeah, he hates all kids. So I mean, he like kids. looks at the kids like they're like disgusting little he's like, buttons. hello he's children like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, well they so, do kind of uh, act obnoxious in this episode I yeah. don't like most of the kids are, are fine they're acting the, like kids for them being almost about? dead dude I think they did really well dude yeah so yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. suddenly we're the compassionate we love kids podcast <laughs> 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 Jesus kids. Christ I think kids so, are fine so but they did act like better than I think most kids yeah yeah we all know how you feel about kids father who just had a wonderful <laughs> holiday dedicated only to him. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo I, Day. <laughs> here's the <Bias>. thing. <laughs> here's the thing is that immediately he, he he's like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this because they're they're a little scared, dude. But mm. they're acting pretty brave for the fact that they almost he died. Just they're like them crying. He's like, yeah, shut the and he's, fuck up. He's like, hey, guys. <laughs> he's like, and immediately he's like, fuck. I need, I need I need to make rank of these kids because they're also they they gotta police each other. You gotta like, think, I think it's like a coping mechanism for Picard. He's like, I yeah. don't know how to deal with children, but I know how to deal with subordinates. So yeah. <laughs> make, right. he's like, <laughs> I feel like it's a classic like move. Honestly, like yeah. I feel like that that's that's a go to in those situations yeah. for he, he, that sort of character. Yeah, he makes yeah, one yeah. of them uh, the first officer, he, the Pink Ranger, and yeah. then uh, old fucking nerdy he makes into uh, fucking the science officer, and then the last little kid he's like, oh, I'm in charge of pomegranates, little, little and he's like, nerdy he's one. like, you'll be my ambassador for pomegranates, and it's like that's a bullshit job, dude. You gave this guy a science yeah, officer. She's she's yes. wait wait wait. Before we continue, Ricardo, I gotta ask you, what's cooler in your mind, pomegranates or radishes? <laughs> oh, pomegranates, pomegranates for sure, dude. Okay, I mean, and they, they made the, the kid cooler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and so the radishes kind of go with everything. You can mm-hmm. eat it with a burrito. It's true. You they are crunchy with, like, and don't add much flavor. I don't think but it's kids good texture. would like radishes. Radishes? You could eat. I could eat a radish like an like a apple. 
Just a little, really? little snack. It's kind of bitter, no? I don't know. No, it tastes a like a uh, radish. They got yeah. like just a tiny little bit of bite to them. It's nice. Yeah, a little it's like spicy. A radish. It tastes like a radish. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think a kid would like a radish. You know, that's a little My hard. kid loves radishes. They really? taste like nothing. Uh, <laughs> a radish or a pomegranate? Which one uh, would they choose? Really? You, you know okay. what's the best snack? Wink, wink. I need sponsor, maybe. 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 I don't oh. know. Maybe if they if they want to get into the game of fucking selling units, the radish, fucking, the radish corporation, <laughs> old fucking tahini will get into it. You put some oh. tahini <laughs> on your pomegranates with some lemon. Mm. Delicious, mm-hmm. dude. Oh, okay, delicious yeah. snack on a warm day. Yum, dude. Nothing, nothing better. better than tahini on fruit. <laughs> you feel that boost of sales, tahini? That was us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> You're welcome. That was free. Um, I just got, we just got you out of the red. Um, <laughs> You're picante no more. Yeah. Um, I, I want, I want them to send me a, a pallet of fucking low sodium tahini, dude. <laughs> Specifically low, low sodium. sodium. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsorship yes. required. Just send us free shit. Yeah. I'm just, Ugh, I'm just getting just gotta, older. We gotta watch can't. our blood pressure. Yeah. We can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I gotta, well, I gotta watch what I eat now. We gotta do um, low sodium. All right. Who said? So, Some doctor? So Picard, Picard. <laughs> Picard is like, hey, fuckers, get in line, dude. And he's like, Timmy, go up there and fucking check what's going up up there. Yeah. So he sends a fucking nerd up there. And he's like, <laughs> he's like these, these braces that you're talking about, they're not going to hold. One of them's like bent to shit, dude. <laughs> and he's like, fuck, dude. He's like, that's meant to keep the, it's like an emergency like thing so that keeps the elevator from falling. Collapse. And so he's like, everybody leave. You, Cause that way you, you survive. And, and then like, they immediately are like, nah, fuck that. We're not doing that. We either all do it or, or nothing. And he's like, God damn fucking pirates, dude. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, all right. So he finally goes up with them and they were right. They saved his life. They, yeah, yeah, they deserve they, yeah, they more than totally like, tour. They deserve like, Hey, we're going to Wesley your, your shit. You could go into yeah. Starfleet and right now, dude. Like you get yeah. you get lifetime free yeah. privileges with the holodeck and replicators. Yeah. I mean, because they would have been and all the radishes you want if they stayed. Because <laughs> yeah. the thing it like collapsed and then they would have been crushed. I guess right. Here's here's what Elevator. they get, dude. This is what they should get. They get nepo baby treatment. So like <laughs> immediately they get to fly the ship. Like, no matter what age, yeah. yeah. Like who wants to fly the ship? That nerd, get over here, dude. Fly the ship. <laughs> um, Do you want to? Well, you know what I thought of? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought thing? of this. I'm not like, done with the what? perks, Dan. Let me tell you about the perks, dude. Yeah, I'm okay, sold okay. you on these perks, dude. <laughs> okay. One more thing. One more thing, dude. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The last perk, dude. A thousand ahead of the line tickets for the holodeck. <laughs> One thousand. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Glad you brought that up because I was just about to say what Go you know it. what would have been a cooler prize. What a fucking holiday on the holodeck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. dude! You got okay. How about this? A holiday in the holodeck now, and then a thousand vouchers when you turn eighteen. Yeah, because when you're eighteen, you're a little older. You know, you know, <laughs> you know what? You know what? You're wiser to the world. You're yeah. sexually experiencing you your body. You know? Yeah, yeah. Go you're for it. You're gonna need it the most. Around yeah, that time. yeah, yeah. So they go up there and they fucking save the card. They tie themselves with fucking wire. <laughs> also, they couldn't have actually done it without Picard either. So if Picard sent them on their own, they they had no ability to open doors. Yeah, they're not like, true. <laughs> <laughs> so he would have been sending them to their doom as well. So yeah, everyone was was doomed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they all get saved and and at the end they 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 pull each other up and they sing a fucking sea shanty. <laughs> Yeah, and, yeah, not even. What are they? Fera Fera Jaca. Yeah. I was like, From what? the dead language French. <laughs> yeah. That apparently all the kids know still. They just yeah. knew it. How? Yeah, they all it know was, French. You think? It was a very weird song for them to all know. You think? And then they're all singing it, and the shot just was, has to capture all the kids. You know what he yeah, should have yeah, sang? Yeah. He should have just started up with, Come cheer up, my lads, to the glory <laughs> we <stare." laughs> And the kids just join in, and they know all the words. <laughs> yeah, oh, that would have been sick, actually. That would have been like, Line um, about slaves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> God damn, Picard's a racist dude. So, so uh, he he's like, oh, my brother and I, my brother Robert and I. I mean, my brother <laughs> he Robert gives him bottles of wine afterwards <laughs> yeah. from Robert. That's, that's what he, he should have given them. He's like, he's like, and these save till you're eighteen. But here you go, authentic. Oh, that would have been a great character moment. It's like I don't know yeah. what to gift to children. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, you want some, some bottles of wine? Lots of wine? <laughs> just just wait till you're older. It, they'll yeah. they'll be better then. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah. You can sell them. They're French. Um, 
<laughs> so th- they get saved. That's one storyline. The uh-huh. next storyline is uh, stupid Jordy and fucking <laughs> Beverly. I wish they yeah. would have just died, dude. Um, <laughs> as, as much as I would have missed Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> At least fucking Beverly would have been gone, dude. Oh, they're like, Pulaski oh, we back. have some. Ca- there was an explosion in the cargo yeah. bay, and guys, oh well. <laughs> chime in, listeners. Are you guys a Beverly Beverly folk or Pulaski Roman oh, Pulaski? Yeah. <laughs> if you're asking who the better doctor is, Pulaski. Yeah, I mean Pulaski's the one who actually but, saved Picard's but, life. But who's your surgery, favorite character so. off of those two? Uh, chime in. Maybe we'll put a poll. Can we put a poll on our Twitter? We can, we can YouTube poll, yes. We can, we can do, do a that. poll on YouTube. We'll put a poll Okay, up. I don't know how to do that, but you guys... You Just guys, make uh, every choice Pulaski. Yeah. <laughs> Pulaski? Um, Roman Pulaski. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Roman from, from, from the Fast franchise. Um, <laughs> so... Um, uh, the next one is Jordy and, and, and uh, Beverly, and they're stuck... In, their their struggle seems a little, little more arbitrary. It's more yeah. of like a oh, uh, there were we had an accident, and these two really random things are kind yeah. of conflicting. Yeah, it's like, hey, <laughs> you feel this hot wall? Oh wow, we have a ghost fire now. Yeah. <laughs> so they have one of those. Have you guys seen those Formula One fires? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They they're just keep invisible? burning That's and burning. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, they're invisible. Yeah. You can't see yeah, them. Yeah, because it's you, so you'll hot. See, yeah. You'll see somebody just wailing and, and they have to put them out and they're on fire. What? That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like how um, when you get those like little cans of a fuel to light for like a, what are those metal trays called? Where, it's a, a canteen. Oh, canteen. Yeah, canteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Like, like, those, like those like catering. Like, like a buffet those, or something and you have to yeah. those warm. like gel hometown, torches. Hometown yeah. buffets. Yeah, exactly. Prison so wine. It's like those are also invisible because the fuel is similar actually. Yeah. So mm. if, if, uh, if, you, just, if you put some of that in your car, pew, <laughs> uh, it's like Nas, uh, allegedly. Why were they keeping this like really flammable because stuff? They needed next it for the show, Sarah. They needed it for the show. <laughs> There's a lot of safety protocol things that make know, no dude. sense. No, they weren't expecting a ghost fire because ghost yeah. fires emit a lot of radiation, like ghost radiation, and ghost <laughs> radiation makes yes. it explosive. So the three things that they had going was a ghost fire that emitted that 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 was leaking radi- radiation, and they had like. Uh, Jimmy Neutron fucking <laughs> tubs of fucking yeah. oil or something, and they were gonna explode if they got over yeah. some sort. If we won't die threshold. from the. We might yeah. be irradiated and exploded to death. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, <laughs> and there's so many things going on. At the there same was a time. lot. What a there was a lot going off. And this storyline. Yeah, this storyline was the, the most simplest. Like it was so stupid. Like they're like, oh, what can we do? We're gonna die soon. Like if they, things are gonna explode and Let's blow. Let's slowly the whole move sh- the barrels yeah. first. And he's like, well, let's move the barrels to this other side of the room. And then they move them, and they're like, ah, still, still. Still fucking us up, dude. That was a waste then, of our energy. Yeah. And then Jordy's like, have you guys seen aliens? Uh, he's like, you know how like how we just never ourselves. And they they never heard of rolling around the rim. Yeah. Um, you can move those a lot easier when you I know, roll, roll, I know. roll around <laughs> the rim. Oh, you can't say that, dude. That's right. <laughs> they yeah. should have been rimming each other the whole time. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going to go to hell, dude. I just don't think um, they should be touching that stuff without, like, I don't know. Well, They're you got to just... clean out the rim before you go in there, yeah, Sarah. Come on, true, dude. That's true. That's um, true. So yeah. these guys were not known to be rimmers. So nah, man. <laughs> so they are like, hey, let's let's open the hatch. Let's blow these babies out of here, and then uh, we'll turn it back on. But like, suck all but the just air out. It's just literally space. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense, dude. The math checks out. No, it doesn't make. Well, also, if you were to open and expose it to space, there's no way just holding on to some little ladder will keep you from like sucked no, out. No, they, they should have done it like feels so reckless. <laughs> Yeah, it feels, it feels extremely so reckless. reckless. Like, they would you do that? Like, oh, uh, we're gonna open this and expose you to to space, and all you have to do is, like, is <laughs> hang on for dear life and hope that you don't get sucked out. You know what space. I just imagined? Like, uh, ostensibly, a stripper could have survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a of pole course. dancer would have done yeah. very well here. And then you I have to hope them. you have to fucking hope that it repressurizes and you can breathe again, or you will suffocate. Yeah, like yeah, you absolutely like not. they could have done so like, much more prep or anything at all. No way. Like create a path somehow to the mm-hmm. second panel you need to get to. Yeah, or, or like, only or have like, like or, use- or, or, or stage Beverly yeah. near the panel that yeah. repressurizes so that you don't have to crawl over. <laughs> but also, I don't know if you would lose air that uh, like quickly. Yeah, they I lost guess? the air. They 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 instantly couldn't hold their breath anymore. 
and we're out of yeah. air. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like that seems well, like you would be dealing up. with you would be dealing with other issues other than air, which is probably like pressure and, and the force cold. of being, temperature. The, yeah, yeah. Being they did try to describe all the yeah. ways they would be impaired very quickly, which is why it felt so much more reckless when they you see how they do it. Yeah, it just didn't feel like that planned out. They they should have done they should have done this bit, dude, and it, yeah. it could have cost them very little. Do the Arnold bit from Total Recall. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I used to freak me the hell that out was, as a that kid. That would have been, that would have been more believable, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I used to and hate then, that so and much. Then Beverly finally reaches and, and closes it. And she's like, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking Jordy falls to the floor. <laughs> yeah. Beverly's like, two weeks, two weeks. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was that. They get saved, and that's them, dude. They're mm-hmm. good to go, dude. And then these, lastly, these are the two um, unimportant plots because those yeah, have nothing yeah. to do with saving the ship, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And then, and then, well, um, they do. It's just that it's a threat that only they knew about and were able to like stabilize completely on their own, and they didn't tell anyone about it either. Right, yeah. right. Then. And then, and then the uh, we'll, we'll do one, and then we'll save the, the last two. Okay, so the next one is Keiko's pregnant, mm-hmm. and she's stuck at the bar because oh. you know. Mm-hmm. That's where you She's take pregnant, pregnant women to bars. and then also <laughs> randomly they can't or, or the com- there's a breakdown in communication about the name of this baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a breakdown. They Which they're is, just st- they're just stubborn about what no, they want. No, they're it to like, be. oh, we discussed it would be this, and then someone's like, we discussed it would be this, and it's like, well, what did you discuss? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I, where I don't think I don't think that had anything to do with this episode. I think they just needed to fill True. a minute of fucking bullshit. Yeah, of um, <laughs> and and so I think they're gonna name it Worf because he gave birth to the baby. <laughs> uh, they they named their baby name girl Worf. Worf. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Worf, or, okay, warf. I did. Warfa. 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 I did love Warfinia. the whole. I did love the whole Worf playing. You know, guy. No, that's doctor. such a nineties trope. Man. I know. Nineties like, TV. Nineties TV it. was all about that. It all. It was also all about Gilbert and Sullivan musical references. <laughs> They're the funniest musicals of all. And just somehow, her. it's, it's yeah, just, I don't and know. we got it both just, in this episode. It yeah. was so, just great. That whole thing was great. So Riker and Data leave, and they're left to their own devices. And uh, he has to give birth to help help Keiko give birth. And he's like, oh, I took an emergency. He, I took a CPR class in high school, <laughs> and I know how to build his baby. And he's like, Oh, you're fully dilated. Okay, now push. And like, it, it it's a good comedy bit. It's a good comedy <laughs> bit. Like Keiko's mm-hmm. like doing. It, it's a it's it's really funny. And then he finally like delivers a baby, he's and it's he's it's, like, he, but he's like, he's like, now is not a good time to have this baby, Keiko. And she's yeah. just like, um, I don't get to choose. Yeah, when I when practiced pregnancy last time, it was much more orderly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of funny typical. Oh, someone's it, giving birth line. And there's like and, a weird bit of fake drama where she's like, "Uh, did the baby turn? Because Beverly told me the baby didn't turn." And Worf's like, "I don't know." And it turns out it's fine. It turns. It's fine, dude. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, like, how would like, how would he non-issue. know? Like, there's no way that I don't know yeah. if it turns. If I will find out together, you know. <laughs> I like, thought there was going to yeah. be a section where Worf is like, "Well." I, ge- I guess I need to punch her stomach in order to turn the baby. <laughs> he has to like- no, what I what I want is him getting frustrated and saying, "Your baby has no honor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this baby has yeah. no honor." Yeah. <laughs> or, or okay, I mean, honorable baby would have been end. delivered thirty minutes ago. <laughs> I wish he would have said th- that that was an honorable birth at the end. You know, <laughs> that was an honorable birth. This was an honorable um, birth. <laughs> yeah. And so so he has baby and that that's it. And then you have uh we'll get done with this one and then we'll go the the main one. Okay, so the we went from least important to important. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah. have you have Riker who uh, with data he's going down these weird tunnels and I get mm-hmm. now where they got like the galaxy quest shit is like they're going to yeah. tunnels that like uh, are closing up and they have gas and like there's there's a fucking palpatine like left some fucking <laughs> electricity go- gone amok he just left it there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah he, he just so, force lightnings yeah. and just yeah. lingers for just a while sprinkled a bit of his force lightning yeah. there and was like I and, gotta go and fucking <laughs> and Dita's like well I'll, I'll I'll absorb it and then you could go, go and save the fucking thing whatever well, he has to like decapitate him yeah and, like, and Data like, has all he, these weird plans about using his body like yeah a- you know what this is bullshit dude by the way this is bullshit because why the fuck didn't they do this before 
Why didn't he tell us this was his power? And that you so could take honestly, off? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like so he's like, I'll absorb it. My body will be useless, but my head can, comes off. And I'm like, why didn't we explore this earlier? Also, <laughs> there's so many cool scenes that would have been awesome. This is what they should do with him. Uh, this is what I would have done. Um, hey, you can take my body, and I'll back myself up to my body. So you, sorry, I'll leave my body. You can take my head, and I'll always have a backup. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm-hmm. So like, mm. if the, if they lose a head, they have a backup head, and they mm. they get booted back up from the body's like saved memory. Well, the apparently the, the we should problem, watch Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> 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 apparently, the problem <laughs> is that the the brain itself is actually so complex they don't know how to recreate it. That's the issue. They don't so. have to recreate it. They had they just control C, control V, dude. That's easy. <laughs> it's that easy, dude. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Yeah. Well, that's Not, apparently this, this the does issue. invite the possibility of like, couldn't you then like take Data's head and his, his ability to think and process and control things, and then just slot him into various like mecha robots, oh, dude, cool, <laughs> cool things. Like he can like, just become R two D two and pilot a ship to yeah, crank. You know. Was was it crank from the Ninja Turtles? Oh, uh, Craig, 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 did you just Craig. call him Craig? I call him Craig, yeah. Craig, Craig, you called Craig, Craig, <laughs> Craig, is it Craig? <laughs> it's <laughs> Craig Ferguson, just is Craig of the Creek. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he could, they could crank him, dude, and he could be in a big old body, dude. You know. Um, yeah. Well, apparently the writers weren't sure they could even get away with the decapitation thing. For some reason, they thought producing Why? would be very like against BS it. BSNP would be on it, or oh, no, they the, thought the producers. For some reason, yeah, they they were the like, oh, we'll never it? get away with this, but we'll write it, and then. Okay. Apparently, no one put up a fuss, so I don't know why. Well, because they didn't want to do like a cheap effect shot. I mean, just put his head on a table. It's so easy. I, I know. It's, that's why I said it was a yeah. cheap effect shot. <laughs> Did say yeah, it was cheap. I mean, you can have his body in a box, you know, like they do at magic shows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why is in a box? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's two girls in the box? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. But that was cool. I like that storyline, though, with Riker and Data. Like, I thought it was cool to see them in an episode mainly together the entire time because we don't get to see it, them. And the entire time, it's they're cool there for like two minutes. Problem solving two minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so he, he gets shocked. He gets Palpatine to the chest. <laughs> and uh, he, 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 he takes his head and he connects him to the computer. And it's just like fucking the solo movie. He goes into the, <laughs> into the fucking ship, dude, and he fixes things. And yeah. he fixes the, the problem that they, they had. But we'll come back to it. We'll Tarantino it. And yeah, we don't know have, what we don't know, like because these two storylines connect. That's yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then, right. so then the other storyline is that what's that useless lady? <laughs> useless lady, Beverly? <laughs> Bever- no, Deanna. T- oh, Deanna, Deanna. 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 Oh, yes, Deanna the actual like yeah. storyline. Of- so she becomes in charge. She's a captain now, and she's she's like I. She tells uh, what's what's the other lady's name? Bo. And uh, row, 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 row. Row. Uh, row, and she row, goes she goes i'm the captain now like three times because she doesn't listen i would have just backhanded her dude if i was <laughs> diana troy like like the, at the second time she challenged me i would have been like bam dude i'm the fucking Shut i run the ship dude i run this shit dude she almost uh, unless you want to challenge everyone. me right now yeah yeah um, i don't know like her opposition like her role in this this episode to me felt like an injection of conflict, but not much more. I here's the, here's my 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 thing with Ro. I love the beginning or like the middle bit of of their section where she she was like, "There's no time to play by the rules," and she was like, "Fucking like hot, like wiring shit." I love mm, that right. part. I love that. So I wish they would have just combined them. Like they should have been at odds, right? Her mm-hmm. and. Deanna, mm-hmm. and then at the end, she should have been improvising off of Deanna's shit, dude. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, she was okay, just, she was okay. just straight up wrong. Like there yeah, was no yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That 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 kind of sucked. That it was just like a me versus you, and I happened yes. to be right this time. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah it, it feels a little less like meaningful. Yeah, and it would have been more. It would it would uh, I would have even liked both of them more. If if they would have been like, hey, I I was we were the opposite at one point, and then you were fighting me, but then like. You doing what you do, which is like kind of like going off book and improvising, playing some jazz. Uh, <laughs> but but with my ideas, we fucking super cop this shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, like, a collaborative solution yeah. would have been better, I think. Yeah. And Miles has a technical know-how and he knows how yeah. to like actually do yeah. stuff. And, and, and it would have helped have been Rose's like, character too. 
Yeah. Because for right now, so far, she's kind of come off a little prickly and only that in the two episodes she's been in. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so basically, she opposed uh, Deanna. They, they, Ro wanted to, to detach and get the fuck out of there. Uh, she Because opposed- they're noticing that the warp core is about to explode. Yeah, and they're mm-hmm. like, they're like, there might be a chance to fix it, but Ro believes there isn't a chance. Miles thinks there is a chance, and he doesn't want to abandon everyone. By the way, everyone in engineering was dead. They just didn't show them on the floor. Uh, no. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was empty. Wow. So yeah, yeah. Um, and so basically, they had to be like, you, they're probably ever, everyone's dead, and they're like, well, if we divert all the power back to engineering, they should get the hint that something's wrong, and they should look for things. And anyway. Luckily, Riker's like, "Oh, why is there power here? Oh, let's something's wrong." And then, and then, fucking stupid data was like, "Beep boop, beep boop." Oh, stupid the, data. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, something, <laughs> something's wrong. Connect me to the other thing." And then he and he does the old bit where like it's the wrong circuit. And he's like, "Well, his little tongue and eye thing." Yeah, the wrong circuit. Yeah. Not and, that, and not that hole. Yeah, and he finally gets the right hole, and and boom, they fix it. They get everything, and and uh, everything's well. It ends well, and then at the end, they do the funny bit where the science kids give Picard a a, a plaque. Uh, that says, "Hey, you're the our bestest captain," or some bullshit. Like that. Did they not have like a printer? Yeah. No, 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 the letters are so shitty. They're stupid I know, children. I know they couldn't have just asked. They couldn't have asked like like the replicator make a plaque. Make that's a really not nice plaque. Make a nice plaque but that looks that looks a little like like a kid would make this plaque, and then it's just done and it's better writing. Maybe anyway, AI art hasn't gotten any better, and it still can't do text. That's true. And so it they give the plaque to Picard, and he's like, "All right, we'll, 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 I'll give you a tour later. We'll call you guys." And he's all. He's uh, my number one or whatever. He's like it's something. And then the little girl goes, aye, aye, sir. And they all wink, oh, dude. Yeah, they all yeah. wink they at the camera. Go, oh, they all wink. Oh. And I think, and I think to myself, motherfuckers, this could have been a really fun episode, but you guys fucked me, dude. Because you, you <laughs> gave me a bullshit ex- explanation of why this thing happened. And also, if this is happening to the flagship ship, what do we expect from the other shitty ships? What oh yeah, they're, they're fucked. Yeah, they're fucked, dude. Yeah, I this would like is, to see a lot a major more. Problem. Yeah, I'd love to see more background information on how the how Starfleet regards quantum filaments. Are they just a boogeyman that they have yeah. no defense against? They're like, fuck, man, we never know what the fuck to do. Well, because 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 Miles knows instantly what it was exactly, and then, like and they know what it is. It. Yeah, yeah. So it's a clearly well documented phenomenon. It's just they just have no defense for it whatsoever, which yeah, is like, like fuck. You can always get hit no by sense. a quantum filament. Yeah, I just feel like you could plan for it better. Like some of the issues they ran into shouldn't. Well, have then happened. you do it, Sarah. I will. <laughs> wait, wait. I fucking will. I fucking will. Let hey, me you know run what? into You're a quantum filament. You're doing a great job. Filament. You haven't been hit by any quantum filaments they, yet. Not yet. They, I did like that they kind of showed like the off duty crew or the the on duty crew when the the A team is off duty. You know what I mean? Mm. They Only had to like, see one of them die immediately. Yeah. Well, yes, yes. I would have been cool if if uh, if Wesley would have died like that. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Could have been him. Yeah. It's like Yugi on the cliff. I think in yesterday's Enterprise, that is. that is how Wesley dies. He I'll show you the later. console explodes. <laughs> well, um, guys, this is this could have been an, an an eight and a half nine, but it goes down all the way to six and a half. Mm, okay, okay, because of all this right. bullshit, dude. So, uh, two things. I think it's really funny that in the middle of this emergency, where everything's about to explode and they have to make a decision now. They take the time, like Ro, Deanna, and Miles take the time to go into the conference room to sit down yeah. formally mm-hmm. and yeah. discuss. <laughs> <laughs> it's, only really really think- it's only three of them. It's only three of them. They could have just done that on the bridge. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Just, let's, just, ha- let's just have a like, stand-up meeting right here. But they, no, they have to go to the conference room. They have to sit down. They well, like, maybe they have like this weird superstition <laughs> about it. arguing in front of the captain's chair. <laughs> you know what? The, the the you know what sucks? You know disagree. what sucks is that the guy that the guy that was flying the ship because I guess survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that he's like he's not involved. Dude, in the- <laughs> well, but also like he's like I should be involved because we're the as as of now we're the only four survivors. Yeah. But also, mm-hmm. if you guys are off in the fucking conference room and that shit like seals off, I'm fucked, you idiots. <laughs> like, I'm gonna just leave you guys. I'm, I I'm now. Shot. I'm now in charge. <laughs> I want a shot um, of him like putting his ear in the door, like listening. He's like, yeah. What are they <laughs> discussing. Also, if I was that guy, 
I'd be put inputting the shit and then backing up like 10 feet, dude. And then I'm like, <laughs> when, when I have to engage, I'll yeah. get close. But you, for you now, like a I'm stick, back there. Like a pointer yeah, stick. You have to use yeah. a thing longer to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to manipulate the panel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> also, I think a lot of the problems with the Deanna captain subplot could have been fixed just by switching the motivations of Miles and Ensign Rowe with each other. Because currently, Ensign Rowe, who is the one who wants to escape, and Miles is the one who is saying, we have to save everybody, right? Regardless well, of Well, because also, uh, Miles has his his baby and his his right. wife as like a well, motivation. That's the Rowe thing. doesn't have anybody. But that's the thing. They're all in the saucer section, his wife. They're all in that saucer section together. Oh. So I think it makes more sense for them to swap. I think it makes more sense for Ensign Road to be the rogue who is like doing all this stuff to try to get things working and then goes, we have, well, we're Starfleet. We should try to save everyone and Miles to be a little irrational and going, no, we should, we should just separate right now. And then Deanna goes, Miles, I know you are freaking out. I know you, the mm, last, the first thing you want. we don't have that history with Miles though. Like Miles is well, always well, like. Well, let me explain. Like, it's like, it's like Miles is like, hey. I just want to make sure my wife and child, child is safe. Like that's just what's happening in my mind right now. And I don't know for sure. And Deanna has to become the one who makes the rational decision. And she gets an opportunity to use her powers because she gets to like actually sense that Miles is distressed because of this. Yeah, I think goes, that. Miles, you're not thinking clearly. What we should really be doing is trying to save everyone, not just us, you, your wife and your child. And that allows Ro to be more of a heroic person instead of looking like a huge selfish asshole, like the whole That's like, That's story. the issue. Like, I, that, that's probably my least favorite bit of this episode, to be honest. Yeah. Like, and then I, ends I, up- I see what you're saying, but I just don't think it's. But then it it's also not, allows. It's not a character uh, trait that I associate with Miles. Like, I feel like he wouldn't do well, that. Well, he doesn't have much of a character. I mean, <laughs> so I that do. Al- I, I, I disagree. I think he does. So. But that allows him to. But that also gives him an out if he. He is the one who wants to survive because you know it's a it's a bit selfish, but he's also motivated by wanting to save his family. So like, right. like less of a, a, it becomes he's such a military guy that I just don't see him breaking protocol. Well, I all. can see him thinking he can try to justify it by breaking protocol, or like rather use protocol to justify separating. You know what I mean? I could see. A well, yeah, like where- protocol can be used in in for both cases if you suppose that the scenario is different. Yeah, I and mean, he could pr- easily like come you up can with- invoke protocol on either side if you say, "Well, they're all dead." Protocol says that we should do this, but they're not dead. Yeah, protocol says we should like we should save them. So yeah, because because what because what because yeah. the real problem was that they didn't know. It was all hope. It was all based on hope that right. someone was alive and it's could all do based it. on thoughts and prayers. <laughs> So I feel like that could have helped with the situation. It would have hey, also given- TNG canon, thoughts and prayers work. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Wesley proved it. Yeah, Wesley thoughts proved and prayers it. literally can take you to the edge of the universe. <laughs> so <laughs> it, was a, it was in season one that, that this happened. So <laughs> And also bring his mom into a dimension and then back from a dimension. So mm, yeah. yeah. So yeah. but I think it's a fun disaster movie episode, essentially. I mean it's like a lot of adventure. Yeah, exactly. That's, the, that's yeah, what I kept saying. That's what, yeah. Mar- that's what Marvin kept saying. It was yeah, like- the apparently the writers of the show were inspired by uh, what's that movie called? Um, Not without my it's daughter. About the, it's about the burning building. Sally Field. I forget. There's like a towering a inferno, dude. Towering inferno. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. were inspired by towering inferno. Um, you mean but- earthquake? You mean roller coaster? And- <laughs> <laughs> mean the day the yeah. earth stood still? Airport. Yeah. You know all these movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You it's mean, a very you mean, common uh, theme. You mean basic San instinct? Andreas? Yeah. <laughs> San Andreas. Yeah, starring The Rock. You mean as- Taboo 2? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's, I would, um, I'll give it like a, a seven. That's a more two. I was, man. Yeah. I give it I need an 8.5. To, I need to come out with my score first one day so that it doesn't feel like I'm just <laughs> piggybacking on someone else's score. You do Inevitably, that a lot. someone else yeah. says the score that I'm already thinking, and I'm like, shit. Now I seem like I never think for myself. I give it an 8.5. Yeah. Was anybody thinking <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I mean, I like the episode. It's definitely it's like a fun episode. And it's one of the episodes that's easy to kind of like watch in syndication. You know, it's kind of like, sure. that's true. Hey, these are all the characters we like. It's Benai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very like nice. It's Benai and Benai. And then, you know, uh, why do you I feel like. And silent. Is it French? <laughs> it's it's from where Robert is from. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the R and the N are silent. 
<laughs> so is the <laughs> Silent. Wait, the N silent? <laughs> silent. Silent. Then the T is silent. Yeah, silent, yeah. I said. I silence my ends, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I think it's a fine episode. It's a I good think, episode. It's fun. Yeah. Who does it's like a good a disaster yeah. episode? It's like I a stand, nice little variety pack of an episode. I stand by six and a half. It's it's a C. It's six a C, and guys. a half. That's pretty yeah. low. Five is low. Five, the five is still on the plus side. I'll be Anything honest. Below five is a negative. I yeah. will say that I never, for what for whatever reason, I just never expected them to explain the filament. <laughs> I, I that's 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 what really brought it down to six and a half for me. Like just just tell me something. Tell me like, oh boy, we lost half the crew, but 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 we're we're okay. We're gonna be okay. Uh, I mean, originally sun, it was supposed to be also rises. <laughs> it was originally supposed to be dumber. It was supposed to be that they just hit an asteroid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it would be really that's stupid. <laughs> that's dumb. If they hit an asteroid, that would be like game over for I'd be me. Like, I'd be like, you're not looking anywhere not. where your space is so wide and open. That would like, literally be like a Titanic, a Titanic yeah. story where it's like, like how did you hit an asteroid? You're fired. <laughs> like, what are the odds? Um, so that's why they did, they came up with the quantum filament and did all that. Basically, they didn't know of a good way to make the premise super believable. So I think they were just like, fuck it. It's fine. Like, we just need to get them in the situation. Once they're in a situation, we can just fuck around and do whatever we want. And I think that works. I think that I mean, works. this also qualifies as a bottle episode, no? Oh, uh, I guess so. Yeah, they, they are all on the ship and a lot of different parts of the ship. And they had to make new sets. Like, they had to make the new... Um, Oh, I guess uh, the, maybe. The, the new Jeffrey's tube like junction set where they stand right, right, right with the electricity part. We didn't see that before. Yeah, so, there, so maybe some, not. Yeah, so like it's. I mean, it's kind of, it technically is a bottle episode, but it definitely didn't save them money. They had to. Right, it right, seemed like a an expensive wasn't. episode to make because of all the different sets and stuff they had to have. Yeah, they had to like figure out how to make a. Uh, like barrel miniatures fly out of a. Oh my that's god, true, it, looks, it looks so. It actually fake. had a few effects. Or, you know, the ghost fire probably cost a yeah, lot. Yeah, the ghost and, fire. Um, it was like there's a really cool shot of something you almost never see, which is the Enterprise with all the lights off. Which I think yeah, is kind that's of actually a cool pretty looking, cool. Which yeah, is funny because you know it's very easy to take a picture of a model without any lights on, and then yeah, <laughs> it's funny. It, it kind of looks like when we visited the Star Trek exhibit at what was that place? Um, that museum. The Getty. No, it wasn't the Getty. It was near the Getty, though. What's that place called? It was the Getty. The spaghetti. No, no. It, it's like it's like the one where they have like the Jewish Skirball. Skirball. Yeah, Skirball. Oh, the Skirball Center. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that was interesting because it kind of looks like that when the lights are off too in yeah. person. So yeah, that's <laughs> that funny. Was... Like I, I, I even noticed that even though I hadn't gone to see that exhibit with you guys, like when they show that establishing shot of the Enterprise with the lights out, I'm like. It looks way more like a miniature toy right now. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a model. Like, because the yeah. funny part is like the nacelles, the part that's red, it, yeah, it's clearly yeah. just like a piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Designed to glow. Uh, but yeah, that was that's a disaster. There's, there's a lot going on. A lot of little plots. A lot of them are just fun. Like, they're not designed to really go anywhere. It's just to be like, they're in trouble. How do they get out of trouble? Bam. Yeah, it's, it's literally how it? are they going to get it out of this one episode? Yeah, yeah. How are they going to get out of this one? So. Well, and then they get out of it. Hopefully, Deanna understands where she is in the rank. To take <laughs> what? Yeah. She's, a, she's a lieutenant commander. It was she's pretty like, funny. I am? <laughs> she's like, I'm a lieutenant commander? <laughs> it is pretty great that it's Tim Piles who has to be the one to be like, yeah, you're in charge. And she's dude. like, <laughs> um, I have no idea what to say or do. Uh, yeah, I'll she goes, suggestions. suggestions would be appreciated. <laughs> well, like, given what she's been up to throughout the series so far, I feel like it was a believable crack at captaining for her. Yeah. And I do like that they were attempting to elevate her character and give her something more substantial to do versus, yeah. like... I just yeah, think they could she, have done it way she better. Doesn't, she doesn't take <laughs> yeah. it. She's not yeah. like, oh yeah, okay, let me uh, let me lean into this role. Let me try to figure it out. She's just kind of like, mm, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, because because <laughs> she initially has deer in the headlights like approach sure. to the, the performance, right? Well, but she didn't even know. My whole problem is she didn't even know that she would technically be the one in charge. You should know that automatically. Right, Like everyone right. your rank and- But I, I would have liked more of like an arc for her because it's kind of more of like, she is in like deer in headlights and she's like freaked out. Then suddenly she's like, Ensign, shut up. I'm listening to Miles, right? Like she has like that type of like performance later. I think it would have made, I would have liked it a bit better if you saw the steps towards her becoming more of a leader. She's just suddenly very assertive. Like it's, it's kind of a part of it. I is feel like they, they attempted a half step in the middle, but it wasn't a very like strong 
moment. Because yeah, I think yeah. it was just like how she reacted to what Ro told her as opposed to anything she said back. Yeah, exactly. Like, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's fine. They they did what they did. That's but yeah, okay. I will say that at, at least as of right now, Ro as a character hasn't been sold to me. And I'm yeah. waiting for mm-hmm. Ro to be sold to me. I yeah, agree with that's, that statement. And it's unfortunate that the second episode she comes back for, she's like abjectly kind of the villain. A little bit. I mean, like she yeah. had to play the role of like a one-off jerk that other yeah. characters had been in the past. Which is unfortunate because I think for a lot of people, this really set the tone for what her character is like. Mm, okay. And, you know, that's an unfortunate way to set up her character, in my opinion. Oh, you know what? I'll bring up one last thing about Ro because I, I forgot to mention it before. But like back when she first came on, I didn't realize that one of the reasons why she looked familiar to me beyond her previous appearance in the other Half Alive episode is because she was Admiral Kane in Battlestar Galactica in the, oh. in the newer reboot that Ronald D. Moore headed. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah. So that's right. That's right. She's 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 deep in that. And sci-fi honestly, world. Th- and that means she's part of one of the best scenes in the entire goddamn show. Oh, okay. Well, Michelle Forbes is a good actor, so I feel like she she should have opportunities. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, she definitely plays to type. She's a hard ass, and as an as Admiral Kane as well. well. That's the that's the disaster, or just disaster, actually, not the disaster. That was disaster that we saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you if you like what we did <laughs> with the episode. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can uh, give us a review or a rating wherever you're listening. You know, there's Apple Podcasts and Spotify and YouTube and YouTube Podcasts. That's the thing apparently now. And uh, yeah, you can give a rating there. And also, if you guys ever want to send us an email, talk to us a bit more directly, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. So what poor sap just tried to should do that? It, should have should have been first contact, but okay. <laughs> oh, what a missed opportunity. We've been through this. We've been this through this. This is the this. third or fourth time we've really? been over this. Yes. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get sorry. angry every time we bring it up again. <laughs> missed, what's, what's the email, dude? What's the email? For, missed uh, missed contact. opportunity. What's the contact. first contact this week? Well, this week uh, we got an, uh, an email from Anne. Uh, it's going to lead up hi. to a little video thing, which is a uh, I will I will play. I'll also put a link to it in the podcast description, so God audio is all better. See. Yeah, but okay. basically, Anne sends us a letter that says Jonathan Frakes intel from a recent con. Hi everyone, big fan of the podcast. I had to let you, especially Sarah, know yeah. about my recent experience seeing Jonathan Frakes <gasps> at a local comic con. So first of all, like everyone always says, he was so warm and gracious and kind. I got an autograph from him afterwards and he couldn't have been nicer, taking time to really connect and talk with everyone in the line. So the next part is her description. I love that so much. So for a short, I was just looking for General Jonathan Frakes media completely separate before I got this email. And I happened to get the exact video of this panel where it has the description of what she's talking about. So Mm -hmm. I'm going to put us into, if everyone can join the voice chat, we can, I can stream the video to you guys right now so we can all see. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Where? Who? In Discord. (laughs) Uh, Who gets my mic? You sound really cool though. (laughs) Yeah. me. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Perfect. And then now let me try to screen share. You sound like an announcer at a big stadium game. That would have been really Uh, cool. Go see end of days. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually That's really a deep awesome. cut. That's, That's a deep, deep cut. cut. Oh my god! Wait a uh, minute. I mean, I know the movie, but I don't think I know your reference. <laughs> when end of days came out, Arnold went uh, to the WWE. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did he really? He just, he just came <laughs> yeah. out. He's like, he, he just came out. He's like, go see yeah, end yeah, of days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It started Please a long, tell me there's a clip of it on YouTube somewhere. Well, yeah. did. It started a long career of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies being promoted at, at <laughs> WrestleManias. Like there's another one where it's for the Terminator Genesis movie and uh-huh. Triple H comes out holding like, uh, no, no. He comes out with a, a metal skull, like T- T-1000 skull on, right? And then when he comes out, two people from the side come up to him, hand him like spines, like metal spines with T-1000 skulls on it. Okay. And then he just hands them back and <laughs> walks down. <laughs> Wait, and Arnold's not involved. No, no he's involved in a, he's a pre-recorded video. It goes like, yeah. I'll see you at Terminator Genesis. But for Genesis. any days, he was there. Oh he God. was there. <laughs> 
But for end of days, he was there. Yeah, for yeah, end yeah. of days, he was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so tell Watch me if you guys tweens. <laughs> Not again. We can't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three, play. Oh, he did the chair. Yeah. So he's, he's still to... he still got it. Shameless. <laughs> Shameless. Nice. <laughs> I will share an interesting story, which I found interesting. Do you know who, uh, I love him. you know Worf? Yeah. Michael Dorn. Do you know Worf? <laughs> and if you can <laughs> envision the bridge of the Enterprise. Stand. Oh my God. Brent, I mean, uh, Data and LeVar, right? right? The beautiful and talented Dimzadis over here on the left. Old Baldy's in the middle. <laughs> Wild Bill Rankin's over here on the right. <laughs> People are on the view screen, we talk to them. Whoever comes to town, Romulans, Klingons, we talk to them on the view screen. And up at the back of the horseshoe is big old dumb stupid war. <laughs> so for years, oh we did a show, we did a show, we did a show, we did a show, we four movies. And There's something and about Jonathan Frakes just being so mean to Worf. That's amazing. This solidifies my theory. Everyone thinks Worf is dumb. <laughs> seven years ever looked up to say a word to Worf. And he had it. He had it up to here with this. So one day, he was in particularly Klingon mood. I love how he's like rearranging the furniture <laughs> on set. set. It's like his nervous and Michael thing. Came yeah. With a, a raw egg in his hand. And he's he walking. leaned over the horseshoe and he crushed it on Patrick's ball. <laughs> Wait, crushed what? And the an egg. egg. Oh, human. And he the made him an egghead. Ran down with his ribs visage like that. Nice. <laughs> Fact or fiction? Ah! <laughs> fucking got us. God. Oh, oh yeah. yes. That's They're it. All working today. That's the whole clip. Yeah, you can pause there. Yeah, so that was the. He's so good. So, yeah, so I happened to f- grab that clip for a random different thing, and because I was sh- as she was describing oh. it, I was like, "Hey, that's the clip I, I downloaded." <laughs> like that's by amazing. the by the end of that clip, because we uh, I stopped it before it got to the end because we started talking. Does he say? Reveal to the audience whether. Oh or not no! It was. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> well, then that's not even like the show. He's supposed I know, to tell I know. you. I know. I think he's just uh, fucking. With you know I what? Love you how know what? He knows. He's. I'm gonna aware. say. It. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say what we're all thinking. That was a lot of fucking work <laughs> for a joke that. Is <laughs> Listen. Okay, now com- what you just said, Ricardo, only works if we left all that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's combining. He's combining his entire career into one panel. I love it. <laughs> I love funny. that he understands yeah, how good. important Beyond Belief is to. Remember, Sarah, us, we got in a deep know? dive. Like Beyond yeah. Belief is apparently it's, ma- it's big in Germany. Incredibly popular in Germany to the point yeah. where it was revived and they, and they brought back Austria? Jonathan Frakes. To, to be the host what? again, yeah, really, yeah. Germany yeah, but- uh, revived it, and they did a German only release revival. Wait, but when, by using Jonathan Frakes, what language yeah. did they have him speak? Uh, he's dubbed uh, English. He's dubbed. Yeah, they they, they dubbed. dubbed him. Yeah, but oh, in that's German, weird. yeah, in the, German, it, there's a German Jonathan Frakes. Yeah, it's called X Factor Das Unfassbare, the unfathomable. <laughs> so but hey, what, <laughs> does that mean like the vignettes that they show, like as episodes, are those dubbed or yes. are they just in German? Probably for the new season, maybe. The just new in season German. is recorded in German. Yeah, yeah. it's like only Ger- that it's Jonathan like, Frakes is in English. Jonathan Frakes yeah, but is Jonathan the only Frakes part is in that's English. Yeah. Yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and I've been actually but- trying to track down the episodes, the German episodes, because apparently, like, they're really well produced. They just happen to be in German. That's like, like there's like swim, like falling in love with Big O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we'll, uh, we'll just keep making it, man. It, yeah, yeah, just come along. Please keep making yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what it is. For some reason, Beyond Belief is just massive. In it's like how Max Germany. Steel is super popular in South America. Like for yeah. some reason, no one knows why. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but- I love him. I want to meet him one day. I'm putting into the universe. I would love <laughs> to meet him one day. Well, Make it happen. Maybe. 
<laughs> Let's Make go. it so. Come on. Someday. Make it so. <laughs> it can happen. Uh, and thanks for the email. And thanks for Thank reminding you, me Anne. of that video. Thank <laughs> yeah, you, cool. Anne, for, for telling us that he's actually cool in person and that he's a good person. So Yeah, that's I'm, one of the things. Apparently, I'm happy like about every that. single person that's ever met Jonathan Frakes goes, he's just really nice. This is, this is there. Yeah. Good and he seems him. really spry for like an older gentleman, you know. Like he seems considering yeah. his uh, all, like spry. his physical like you know issues because it's not like his back ever got like fully better or anything, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's just always had back issues his whole life ever since he was a. How mover. old is he at this point? Seventy something. Yeah. Wow. Uh, See, that's crazy because at seventy something, I expect to be vegetating. Seventy. And, he's exactly seventy right now. So yeah, at that age, I would expect to be doing nothing. Yeah, but he it's looks amazing. He looks that spry. he's he's traveling to cons and you know. Yeah, he's, he's still, still doing it. I think he's you're you're working. wildly you're wildly. I don't <laughs> know. On, on I, the feel age, like dude. Really? I feel like <laughs> yeah. seventy. I'm expected to. I mean, I don't know. I'm people just, are living to I like ninety, be, dude. Like, well, like, I yeah. think it might be because there's some in America. There, there are certain people no, in our lives right now, personally, that are. Younger than seventy, who have yeah, who are way total more frail symptoms. Yeah, so. yeah, but but it, not everybody. <laughs> I know, I know. I obviously, it's just yeah, in yeah. my own little bubble. I'm not used to seeing. Do you think you're gonna die at seventy, dude? People of older, I'm not used to seeing them do that. You know, which is amazing. So my expectation is like, you know, I only know off of my own experience. Al Pacino's out there, fuck, uh, Al Pacino's yeah. out there <laughs> fucking people, dude. He's like 83, dude. Yeah, I mean, personally, <laughs> I expect out, to be. Dude. I expect to be a Too full tired. vegetable. Too tired to pull out. <laughs> you didn't so. have the energy to pull out. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah, yeah. it takes a lot of talked to energy. Yeah. He should have talked to Arnold. Arnold to pull out, dude. Arnold would have been <laughs> go see and the days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got to get that actually in the episode somewhere. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to put it in. So, but no, we know. just did. We just did. Uh, <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, Sarah, I do agree that Jonathan Frakes looks like especially spry for his age. I mean, all of them. I mean, I mean Patrick Stewart as well. He's you know, I mean, Look, that's, dude. Tom Cruise is jumping off of cliffs and he's sixty, dude. Yeah, but he's he's, he's like also Tom Scientology chemicals. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. he just he's a sure he's, You think because he's a sure he's he gets special human. skills? Yeah, well, he's, he he stole the blood human. from all the younger Scientologists and put yeah. them in himself. True. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, joking, you know, but that yeah. might be actually what they do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know what's nice? It's nice to know that the maybe the most controversial Star Trek actor is just William Shatner. Everyone else just seems like nice people. Yeah. You know how like it seems like mm. so many people in so many shows are like, oh man, did you hear about that guy? That guy's a total piece of shit now. <laughs> it seems like well, so long as we stick to core bridge crew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Arnold Arnold is seven. I mean, sorry, uh Sylvester Stallone is seventy six and he's still out there fucking exploding shit well i mean he yeah. keeps in shape you know so that's just alone i mean i don't know about you but at that age if i make it that far i don't expect to be at that level. i want to i want to be punching people and punching babies at that age, <laughs> at that age? yeah oh my god i want to be a baby puncher see and the day. <laughs> <laughs> all right and with that uh thanks for listening everybody and if, thank if, you. if you like what we're doing head on over to fugitivframes.com there's yeah. other leave things us we a, do leave us a review please yeah or don't Love don't, reviews. don't. We, we give us a bad review. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, good or bad, we'll take it. Uh, yeah. FugitiveFrames.com, we still have some stuff on the video game. Sh- yeah. I, I don't know. The Chrono Trigger remake might have been announced by the time this episode comes out. If that turns out to be true, I will certainly stream that. So um, if uh, that also, happens. Yeah. Also, ease, ease. Well, uh, announcing doesn't ease. mean it's suddenly out. The sponsors. I know. I know. But if, that'll Please. guarantee like, that. It, it you're will announcing be streamed. plans to stream like two years Dehine, from now. Dehine. Listen, Dehine. listen, I'm excited. If it really does don't, happen. Marvin, <laughs> don't, don't be making promises like that, dude. <laughs> Tahine.com. <All right. laughs> Next week, we're going to watch the, I, I hate this episode so much i fucking hate that this means episode. we're gonna love it uh it's the game uh <laughs> it's oh, time no. to play the game the you, game. Want, uh, you want to play okay. game oh no yeah. <laughs> games <laughs> under duress game. are rarely good and you're gonna you're gonna hate i i guarantee people will hate this episode for many different reasons so okay all right that sounds interesting <laughs> Do you want to play a game all right <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody. 
I hope right, we survive dude. until the game. Guys, if you're if you're uh, bored, uh, go see End of Days. <laughs> <laughs> go see Into Spider Verse. I need to go look up this clip now. It's Wait, I, mean, I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> you can't find it. God damn it! We just have to take your word for it. Uh, Marvin seen it. I've I have a memory of it. It could be confabulated now because of Ricardo <laughs> saying it so many times. I he also says it like Ray Romano. So yeah. uh, <laughs> hey, my brother and I. It was actually Ray Romano was telling people to see end of days. Yeah. Come on, go see end of days, <laughs> ma, ma, <laughs> ma. I know it's no Ice Age three, but come on, <laughs> ma. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Bye, everyone. Yeah, dude. Uh, go see end of days. Until Bye. next time. Bye. Unless, unless it's an end of days, then we're dead. <laughs> yeah. And go and see the end of days. <laughs> <laughs>